Ah, ah, shoot. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh my gosh. I literally just dropped the box. Hold on, let me get the box. Hey, Danny. Hey, Belize. How y'all doing? I just came on here for a few minutes. I got it. I came home to another box today. And I don't know what's in it. So, what's up, Teddy and Fluffy? Okay, giving us a different look today. Okay. Hey, what's up, Shanette? Hey, little baby, how y'all doing? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on here, maybe about thirty minutes, cause I have a meeting at um seven thirty. So I have to get off of here about six o'clock, so I can go get dressed and get out of here. I need to leave out of here by like six thirty, quarter to seven at the latest. Now I don't know what's in this box, so let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? That's my little music. I like I like doing that. <laughs> okay. I'm a little cute. All right. Now let's see what this is. Oh, this is a palette. This is some sort of palette. Let's see what it is. Oh, <laughs> girl, you fine. You need to, you, you fine with the tatted and fluffy. Okay, let's see what's in here, y'all. It's a palette. It's some palette. Hey, what's up, Trish? How you doing? Trish. Was that you that emailed me last night? Was that you? Trish, was that you that sent me that cash app? Okay. Thank you so much. I, I thanked you yesterday, but I didn't want to say your like government name on my live, but I thought it was you. Thank, thank you so much. You blessed me and I appreciate you so, so much. You, I, I really do. I really do. Thank you for your support and everything. Um, you do you donated towards the, the makeup ministry, child. You didn't even know it. Okay, so I've got a blush palette. Since every, you know, since y'all said it, my blush, well, y'all don't say it, but my blush is a little light, light. Hey, Lady Nika. Thank you again. Yeah, my 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 blush is a little light, light, y'all say. So I got me a blush palette. And I, I know this was on the list. I don't know if this is the stuff that I ordered or if this is something that somebody sent me. I'll know in a minute when I get to the rest of the box. So if this is something that somebody sent me, I give me a second to get to the rest of the box. Oh, Shani. Now, this is Shani. I'm not familiar with Shani. She's not shy blush palette by Shani. I'm not familiar with Shani, but okay. Is Shani a good brand, y'all? I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, oh, it's a little. Can y'all see those colors a little bit better? They're a little. That light. It's a little. But. Okay. It's gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, I'd like I, this. Definitely, these colors are definitely a little richer than the blush I already have. The the blush I have is a very very light, like a like very light pink, a very light rose. I'm always because again, I don't do makeup a lot, so I'm always worried about looking like a clown child. So I didn't want like a real, you know, deep. Uh, those colors can warm me up. Okay, Lady Nika said it's pretty. Okay, all right, I believe y'all. I believe y'all. Okay. So that was in the box. Let's see what else is in the box. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 
I didn't order this. Somebody ordered this for me. Yeah, somebody ordered this off my list. I think I know who it was. I think this might have been Miss Tatted and Fluffy, but I don't know. But somebody ordered this. This I, I put this on my list. This is a corral. This is a um a makeup, a 360 makeup organizer, cosmetic organizer thingy. Um so hey silky black. Yeah, thank you. Whoever got this for me, thank you. Because there's no card in the box. If you sent a card, there is no card in the box. But somebody got this off my wish list. Somebody um blessed the makeup ministry. Somebody blessed. Yeah, so yeah, that's what it is. A lazy Susan for makeup. Because I figured that um, because what I'm gonna have to start doing, you guys, now that I actually like, you know have more makeup and stuff and i have like a mirror and all this other stuff what i'm gonna probably start doing is when we do the get ready with me i'm gonna probably do it from upstairs in my um my back bedroom i have a desk that um in my back bedroom and it's a computer desk but i don't use it obviously for that reason because i have my laptop down here so i don't use my computer desk up there so i'm gonna put this i'm gonna set this up on there and that's where i'll put you know, now that I'm picking up more and more makeup stuff, I'll put it on here. Well, thank you, whoever got this off my wish list. Thank you so much because I didn't order this for myself. I know I didn't order this for myself. Or did I? No, I didn't. I didn't. Mm -mm. Because what I did was I ordered the stuff that I ordered that um, Belize sent me the money for and Mama Six sent me the money for, I took that stuff off of the list and then I added more stuff. And this was something that I added, this organizer I added to the list afterwards. So I know I didn't order this. So whoever blessed me, thank you so, so, so much. Um, good afternoon. What's going on with the box? I believe I must be missing out on something. No, number one Eagle fan. Um, because they like to make fun of <clears throat> the fact that I am, you know, that my makeup, um, arsenal is, is low and in some places empty. So I was told to create a wish list so that people could bless the makeup ministry. And so that's what I did. So these are things that people have purchased off of my wish list. So... Hello, T-Sub in the house. Okay, T-Sub. Come on through, T-Sub. All right. <laughs> you need to get you one. That's a must-have. It, it, I'm, I'm, I'll let you guys know once I set it up. But I'm looking for because it looks like you could just twirl it around. And you, it looks like it's got a place for a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yana, I hope you got that organizer for $15. I'm in an Amazon group and I got that for less than $20. I don't know who bought it. I don't, I know, I don't believe it was more than $20. I tried not to put real expensive. I think the most expensive stuff that I put on my um, wish list was the Juvia's Place palettes. The rest of the stuff was, I believe, was like under 20 That's why I didn't get that real expensive mirror. Because the mirror that I really, really kind of wanted was like $60. But I was like, I'm not putting that on my wish list. I'll buy that myself. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't ask nobody to buy that, child. Makeup literacy and tools to get what she needs to be, child. God bless her. Yes, God bless the makeup ministry. Everybody, now everybody need one. Uh-huh. Everybody need to get the lazy Susan. Okay. It wasn't that expensive. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. I don't remember how much it was, but I know it wasn't that expensive. Because like I said, I wasn't putting real expensive stuff on the um on the list. They have one that's like $30. I'll have to go back and double check, y'all. Hey David, I'll go back and double check. But I don't think it was that much. I really don't. Now that I'm finished driving, I can say I'm very glad you got an organizer so you can stop looking for your stuff. <laughs> well, okay. So right now, this is where the most of my stuff is in this little caboodle. See, I got this little caboodle. Okay. See, up top, I have the... That's my highlighter. That's the, the um, finishing powder. That's my uh, blush. And then underneath... I have a few little, that's where I have like, um, you see my, my foundation, my brush cleaner, my sponge, my concealer, my primer, and my mini palette. The mini palette is in here. That's where I have that stuff, right? And then I got that whole brush set from that I got yesterday. That's just sitting, 
it's still sitting here in the box. I'm gonna have to take all these boxes out. Trash day is Friday, so I'll take all my stuff out. Um, you know what, Abby? Don't be talking about my little caboodle. Don't be talking about my little caboodle. But trash day is Thursday, so I'll be taking all these boxes out. To, um, I mean, trash day is Friday. I'll be taking the boxes out Thursday. So then I have this um, this little container. I used to sell Arbon. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Arbon, but these used to be the kits when I would have parties, like Arbon parties, and they would have like the little the little um, kits in here. Like I used to have like the foot kit and the anyway, all that little stuff in there. So. I don't sell Arbonne anymore, so this has become another little makeshift, little makeup thing. And you see, I have my big Juvia's Place palette. I have my other Juvia's Place palette. Okay. I got my old Avon child. You know that's old. That's an old. I probably need to throw that away, honey. That's an old Avon palette. The sponges that y'all told me were wrong. I don't know what I'm going to do with those because y'all told me those ain't the right sponges, child. I don't know. My spray, my, my finishing spray, child. What else is in here, honey? Oh, I got a little brush in here. Got my little brush. Got my... Got this little brush in here. I don't know what that little... I don't know what that is for, okay? And then this, I could throw this away now. Because you see you see how toe up that is? I could throw that away now. I'm going to I'm gonna just go and put that in the trash right now. So I won't even put it back in here, honey. Okay? So that's what I have in there, okay? That's what I have in there, Okay? Talking about my stuff. Acting like I ain't organized. And then I have this, which is where my um oh thank you, Latifa. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. And then this is my other brush set. Yeah. And see, I was keeping stuff in this little side pocket, but the stuff that I used to keep in there is over there now. So I'm, you know, I I'm okay. My stuff is okay. You know, I've never had, oh, I still got my old makeup kit over there, but I probably need to throw all that stuff away, child. That thing is just old. Hey, Joyce. It's kind of slim. What's kind of slim? You know what? Don't be talking about me throwing my stuff away. Put them little fat sponges in your purse to blot your face when you need to. I don't sweat like that. I don't need to blot my face. <laughs> Let me see. I can't help you with that in my 50s years on this earth. I've never worn makeup. Well, you know what, number one Eagle fan? I understand because I told Abby I don't worn makeup more in the past two months than I think I have in the past two years, child, outside of lipstick. Now, y'all know I'll do my lipstick, but outside of lipstick, I was saying the same thing. Oh, hold on. Let me scroll back up. That's too small for me to travel with. Well, I know you can't travel with that. I got, you know what, this caboodle, I got this. I think I told y'all that already. I went to a little girl's weekend, a little a little girl's night in weekend or whatever. And this was one of the gifts. And it was full of like little odds and ends and stuff like that. It's real cute. It's real cute. This is my old makeup bag back there. I need to throw that one away. That, that needs to go into the trash. Into the trash. I'll be throwing that away. Hey, Discovering Dez. How you doing, nephew? You spraying your face. Of course, you feel wet. You see, I have a whole fan. Yeah, it dries up, Shanae. I, I don't have a problem with it so much. Keyword, Lil. Yeah, it's Lil. It's Lil. L-I-L. Lil. I told you I used to have one of those big caboodles, and I think I still have it. I really don't think I threw it away. It's probably at my parents' house. I don't think I really, because I had a big old, I had that, the huge caboodle um, that I used to keep all my, because um, I, I used to do nails when I was in college. Um, I, well, I did nails in high school, and then, like, my freshman year in college, I did nails, but then it just got to be too much. I ain't feel like doing it no more. I mean, I never, like, officially went to school for it or anything like that, but um, I knew how to do them. I knew, I knew how to do them enough for a college student that just wanted their nails to look cute, you know, for the weekend, for homecoming or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I knew enough. Hey, Miss Old School. <laughs> I stopped before. I I, don't, I think I might have stopped before you got there, Danny, because I ain't doing them that long because it got to be too much. They it, People wanted me to treat it like a job, and it just wasn't. I wasn't making enough money for it to be a job, child. Oh, um, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to help your makeup stay on longer. 
we might need you for nails if they keep removing. I don't want to sound racist. But it is time for me to get a feeling. I'm just saying. Um, I was thinking about where I'm going to go to get my feeling. I'm just saying. It's hurricaning there. Child, it feel like springtime. I had my window. I closed. The only reason why I closed my window is because my neighbor is getting their deck power washed and it's loud. But I had my window open before I went live because um, it feel like spring. Like the last couple of days I've come home from work and opened up my windows just to let some fresh air come through the house, let the stale air out, you know, all that good stuff. But I ain't had my heat on. Like it's legit. Now, at night, the temperatures drop. So I've just been lowering my, you know, my temperature or my heat. And then at night I've, I've had to turn up a little bit, but I mean, like it's legit for the life spring. And did y'all know that this weekend is daylight savings? Did y'all know that? Go to the Russians. They do nice nails too. I got to find a brushing shop. Excuse me, y'all. Your birthday is Sunday. Oh, Des, hey. What you doing for your birthday? One time for the birthday boy. One time for the birthday boy. Hey. Uh-uh, Belize said, well, Belize, you about to go back to the corner. You about to be in the corner. Turn <laughs> yeah, turn up. Oh, you talking about um Dez? Yeah, honey, turn up. The air has been off for the past couple of days, but spring is here. Came last week. I see all the plants blooming. Yeah, and I saw the birds were having fun on my car. I said, "Oh, the birds are back." If the birds left, I don't even think the birds leave anymore, honey, because the winter was so mild. I don't even know if the birds ever left this year, child. Hey, Foy, how you doing? Yes, honey, Super Tuesday. Wasn't that crazy? So pretty much Joe Biden is the comeback kid. They were they were they were counting him out, honey. They was talking about his his campaign was on his last leg. It was kick, <coughs> kicking up fumes. And yesterday Joe Biden came through and let have and and put a dent, put a dent in them folk. And bloom everybody didn't dropped out except for um Warren Sanders and um Biden, right? I mean, it might is anybody, it might be somebody still holding on, but they might as well go. Well, Warren is probably gonna need to quit. But I think if she I think if she quits, I think she'll kick her support to Sanders. She's not gonna give her support to Biden. I don't think. Let me say that. I don't think. Having a little brunch with a few friends and spending time with the bay. Oh, but not much planned. Des, I didn't know you had a bay. I mean, not that you had to tell me that, but I just didn't know you had a bay. All right, spending time with the bay. Come on through with the bay. Child. Yeah, I live in a Republican state. They were upset. I bet they were. Oh, I bet they've little. Well, the thing is, they don't really have no reason to be upset. I mean, that didn't really affect them, but I know they were because you know they think everything is their business, child. So I'm sure they were in their feelings a little bit. Oh, well, that's good. Well, that's good. We're gonna keep a positive thoughts, Des. That's good for you. Good to hear. Good to hear. Well, you have a good time. Um, make sure we give you, you know, make sure we don't forget to give you your birthday shout outs on Sunday, honey. Uh oh, I know, right? Look at Dad's going steady. <laughs> steady, are we ready? Hey, hey, hey. Warren says she's staying to the convention. They all say that. Bloomberg was saying just yesterday, I'm not jumping, I ain't dropping out. I'm going to the end. 24 hours later. 
I believe she wants to go to the convention and I believe she has every intention of going to the convention. But if she runs out of money, hey girl, hey, I was gonna call you in a little while. Um, L Teddy, on my way, you know, I'm on my way to my um, you know, I'm on my way to handle order business in a little while. You know, I was gonna call you while I was getting myself together, honey. Yeah, Bloomberg had called the house. Child. I'm overworn. I'm overworn. He suspended his run already. Who? Yeah, I mean, I just think that I don't think she's going to have the money. I just don't think she's going to have the money to go to the convention. The convention is a long way away. I don't think she's going to have, especially after yesterday, I don't think she's going to have the money. I think she's going to want to go. Like I said, I think she has every intention, but I don't think she's going to have the money to do it. Oh yeah, Bloom Boy. Yeah, because yesterday he was getting offended that people would even ask him. I do, um, Latifah, I do do um, drag race. Oh, speaking of which, um, Abby, I, um, Somebody dropped a great idea in my inbox. I have to talk to you and mother about um, in, in, re in regards to um, drag race. I got to talk to you about it. Right. See, this is my thing right here. When you can't even win your own state. Yeah, bro, it's probably time for you to step aside. It's just like um, um, your boy um, when he lost Tennessee. You know, I mean, we could blame Florida all day long, but you didn't even win your own state. If you could have won your own state, Florida would have been a non-issue. So you can't blame all of that on, oh, Bush stole Florida. Okay, but what about Tennessee? You didn't win your own state. Yes, um, yeah, Latifah, I do. I um, Probably, yeah. Hey, DC Kool-Aid and Lisa. You know what? I was shocked to find out yesterday that Biden's campaign was running on fumes. I I thought just his name recognition alone, I thought he he had more money than he was working with. I was shocked to find out that his campaign was was struggling the way it was struggling. Uh but not anymore. I bet you the phone's been ringing off the hook all morning long. And I'm pretty certain that now that Bloomberg has kicked his support over to Biden. Biden ain't gonna have to worry about. I don't think Biden gonna have to worry about the light bill being paid. No more this campaign season, Shirley. Warren, you know what? I think Warren started off with a lot of money. Um, I think I I I, I um, I think Warren had money, but again, I think the money is gonna dry up because. People go with them. People put their money where they where they support it, where they feel like there's a chance to win. Nobody's gonna the not the big money like you know Warren. You know she probably could could still you know rally the five ten dollar people, but the people that's cutting the big checks, they're not going to put money under a, a campaign that they don't think they can win. Because the purpose of them writing those big checks is to get a, a favor on the back end. Why am I gonna write a check to somebody that can't do nothing for me? So yeah, she might still get them five twenty dollar checks in the mail, but those big that big money, that big money. Where's China Black? I ain't see her slide through in here. Hey, China Black, how you doing? Was not getting my support. No, hell no, nah. Bloomberg child, hell no. Nah. So oh, you said so. In episode two, the, the queen they do well. That would you know what? That would only be fair. It wouldn't be fair. For them to split them up like that and them not do the same. I'm not saying they're going to do the exact same thing, but it, I don't think it would have been fair for, uh, you know, the first queens to have all that opportunity to impress the judges and wow the judges or piss off the judges and the other queens not be put under that same um, scrutiny or whatever. So I was I was expecting that this episode was going to be pretty much the same thing. I was expecting it. Again, maybe not the exact same duplication, but I was expecting it to be something like that where they were going to have to show, um, you know, at least three looks. I was thinking the same. I was thinking that. Warren was not going to get my vote because her ass was co-signing Susie Ormond's prepaid card mask. Well. 
You need to catch up. Well, you only one episode behind Latifah. It's only been the one episode. You ain't missed nothing. And I mean, you'll. I'm not going to tell you, but you'll see when I. You'll see it when you see it. But you ain't missed nothing, boo. You can catch up. You can catch up. It's only been one episode. When is um? But well, Warren did blow up Bloomberg's campaign. So hats off to her. Yeah, she. Yeah, she gave Bloomberg the blues. Hey, Laurie. Abby, when does all when is All Star supposed on HBO? When is that supposed to um when is that supposed to start? Because that's coming on um HBO, right? So when is that supposed to start? Yeah, Latifa. I look well, thank you. Let me know what you think. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me hold on. What about Tyler Perry? Belize, I don't even know if I want to ask you. I don't even know if I want to ask you, Belize, because, see, I'm asking you like you about to give me a serious answer. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm not on stream, y'all, so I'm about to change. I'm about to um go to another screen real quick, so you're not going to be able to. I don't think you're going to see anything. On stream, y'all, you can still see stuff, but I don't think you better see anything. So hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Smelling like some fragrance that I don't even wear. So if you want some love and I suggest you go back there. Dead day. Uh oh, hold on. That ain't what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Hold on a second, y'all. All right. Okay. Here I am. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. All Star starts with June 5th. Okay. So I have time to decide whether I want to pick up Showtime or not. There you go, Latifah. That's the link to my um review. That's the link to my um RuPaul review from last week. Latifah, that song been in my head since yesterday because, okay, let me tell y'all. So a friend of mine asked me about this guy that I used to date, right? And that was his song. He used to sing that song all the time. And every time somebody asks me about that dude, I always think about, for some reason, I always think about that song. Child. Him, that that being his favorite song should have been a premonition, child. Anyway. <laughs> Russell Simmons is grimy a lot. How we get the Russell Simmons? Hold on. How we get the Russell Simmons? Hold on. What we talking about here? That's why I wasn't riding with him on his campaign against Oprah. Michael, maybe, but Simmons, hell no. I must have missed something. Child, I'm sorry, a lot of people. A friend of mine told me to watch some show about New York socialites, but they had Russell Simmons and Weinstein on the show. They were besties almost. Oh, Lord, child. Her and Saunders weren't trying to get big money because they wanted to tax businesses and owners. I understand. I know, Danny. Yeah, I understand that. That you know, that was their big thing. That they wanted the small people. They didn't want you know. They wanted the they wanted the nickel and dime. I get that. I understand that, and I respect that. However, comma, she's at a pivotal point now, where Biden and even Bernie. Bernie can say what he want to say, but Bernie be accepting big money too. If she can't get the money and roll with the big dogs, she's not going to make it to the convention. If that's if she's trying to make it to the convention, then she's going to have to continue to get that support from you know people that are willing to give the, the $20, $10, $30. And again, I'm telling you, people give money. In the beginning, when it was 50 people running, yeah, it was easy to get people to send you a $10 check or a $5 check because at that point, it was almost like an even playing field and everybody felt like their favorite had a chance to win. But now that we're down to four people, it's 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 thinned out. You can't hide behind the crowd anymore. It's not a two-day debate anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to take them two days to do a debate. They're not going to have to pull straws to see who goes first. Like, it's four people. And 
again, I respect Elizabeth Warren saying, hey, I don't want to take, you know, da, 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 da. I get that. And I respect that decision. I'm just saying that some different decisions are going to have to be made if she's trying to stay here until the convention. I'm, that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bernie be taking that money. People, hey, Dark Chocolate. Hey, S. Shaw. Yeah, people can say what they want to say. And they can try to act all holier than thou. Bernie be taking that damn money. With someone named Mortimer and his behind sat there while he was saying, get this black girl away from my VIP. What? What? The Six Million Dollar Man. Is that the name of the show, Six Million Dollar Man? Warren is on my short list. There is no path forward for her. Yeah, I, at this point, after Super 2, see, the other thing, too, is had the delegates been more evenly spread out yesterday, then, yeah, I'd say, okay, Elizabeth, cool. But Biden damn near made a clean sweep. And... She didn't win her own state. Like, how do you not win the state where people have elected you before? How do you not win your own state? That says that your own homegrown constituency don't see it for you. So if the people, I know as a voter, I'm sitting on the outside looking in and I'm like, well, wait a minute. Those are the people that know her best, right? The people you've been, re been representing for however many years that Warren has been, you know, um, 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 in the House of Representatives, in Congress, excuse me, in Congress, how many years that she's been in Congress, if those people don't see it for you, as somebody that's on the outside looking in, I'm. it's going to make me give you the side eye like, wait a minute, if they didn't vote for you, Know what I mean? True, and why was Gabby still on the ballot? Didn't she drop out a long time ago? But there's a certain but but there's a certain point, Danny, where the ballots, unless it's a computerized ballot, there's a certain point where the they it takes time to get all that stuff taken off. And again, remember I told y'all yesterday there's a difference between there's a difference between between ending your campaign and suspending your campaign. I don't know what language she used. If she used the language that she is suspending her campaign and she can still be on the ballot from my understanding. And if it may change, the laws are probably different from state to state, but from my understanding, when you are suspending your campaign, it doesn't mean that you're ending it. You haven't officially ended it. You just saying that right now you're pausing. Suspension is not the same as ending. And so if she just suspended her campaign, then that might be why her name was still on the ballot because people can still vote for her because her campaign has not ended. She has not she has not dropped out of the race. She suspended it. But again, I don't know. I have to go back and see what language she used. I don't know what language she used. How Warren gonna continue with zero? Exactly. She don't have no money. Um, I know you were in J uh, Jay Wilson's chat this morning listening to that. Dark chocolate. Friends don't let friends dial in drunk. That's all I'm gonna say. She clearly had no understanding and i give jay wilson credit i give jay wilson credit because jay wilson he was working with that woman and he was trying but let me be clear she know what the hell she was talking about and then she said i jay wilson let somebody call in that's going to support me because i feel like you against me let somebody call in that's supporting me and i'm like it's not about anybody supporting you you're talking about you think bloomberg can win and bloomberg just dropped out the race he, he he's not in the race anymore so Jay Wilson isn't going against you. Jay Wilson was trying to explain to you that he wasn't in the race. She was a little confused to did. Biden won't be Trump. It will be dementia fight. I think Biden can be Trump. And I'm going to tell you why I think Biden can be Trump. I know both of them are past their prime. I get that. But Biden knows how to talk to people. And those people that Hillary Clinton thought she was too good to go talk to and she didn't need to talk to them because she just took their vote for granted, Biden will go to those neighborhoods. Biden will go to those communities. And a lot of those communities were people who have voted for Obama and then voted for Trump because they, for a variety of reasons, but he'll Biden would because Biden was trying to tell Hillary Clinton to do it. He was telling her, "You've got to go to the co those cold towns, especially after she 
made the the slip ups that she made in reference to Cole. He was like, you need to go to those communities. You need to go to those people and talk to them and explain to them what you're going to do to put them back to work. Because Trump is telling them, regardless of whether Trump is lying or not, Trump is telling them he's bringing coal back and they're going to go back to those mines and they're going to go back to making that money they were making and living the way that they were living. Regardless of whether it was a lie or not, that's what he was telling people. And people were believing it because they wanted to. And so Biden knows how to get in there. He knows how to have those town halls. He knows how to roll up his sleeves and, and make you feel like y'all went to high school together. Like he knows how to do that. So I think Biden can be Trump. I do. I think he has a better chance of beating Trump than Sanders does. Hey, Miss Sexy Aquarius. Belize, see, let me see what Belize, see. Well, she needs to come off the pause and drop off. I mean, she probably will. A lot of people were trying to hold out to Super to um Super Tuesday, but at this point, I think everybody knows that it's it's gonna come down to it's gonna come down to Biden and Sanders. You know, I don't see Biden keeping it together though. Trump will troll him and he will lose it. I mean, he might cuss him out, but I ain't, I wouldn't be mad about it. I think he need a good cussing out. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Throw the whole phone away. I mean, if y'all were in that chat earlier today with Jay, honey, that woman. I was like, what? And I, Jay, Jay wanted me to come on. He had asked me if I could come on, but I said, I'm at work. I can't, you know, and we were actually testing today. I couldn't do nothing. Uh, but I wish I could have come on and just, you know, and just said something. But I was like, but then I was like, oh, I'm so glad I'm not on there because I, I I don't have the poker face that Jay Wilson has. Jay Wilson has a good poker face because he was talking to that woman like he was really trying to help her understand. And I'm like, you know, she. Jay, now, Jay, you know, she don't you know, she don't understand. But he kept a poker face. He did better than me because I wouldn't have been able to keep that poker face. Child. What time is it? All right, I got to get off of here. Clinton wasn't even uh, talking to black folks until the end when the numbers started. Yeah, because she took all of those votes for granted. She, It was that elitist mindset that said, well, nobody's going to vote for Trump because they can't they clearly see that Trump is crazy and he's incapable and he's inept and he's this and he's a clown? Okay, so she took all of that and Biden kept telling her and even her own husband kept telling her what she needed to do. Now, we can say a whole th a lot of things about Bill Clinton, and you people can have their opinions about Bill Clinton, but what one thing people couldn't say about Bill Clinton is he didn't know how to talk to people, and he didn't know how to turn a crowd. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? And Bill was telling her what she needed to do. Biden was trying to tell her what she needed to do, and she didn't want to listen to none of them. And I'm not saying that she absolutely would have won, but I am going to say that one of those states that she needed to win because I think she, it was Ohio, it was Pennsylvania, and it was somewhere else. She needed just one of those. Just one. She didn't want to listen. Right. Biden is going to get the old school Democratic vote. Like, he's going to get that. And I mean, I told y'all from the beginning, I have a problem with the fact that Bernie Sanders is even allowed to run as a Democrat. Because he's not a Democrat. He's a socialist. I have a problem with the fact that he's even in the Democratic primary. But whatever. The Oprah makes stumble crap. We are not gonna laugh at Oprah falling on that stage. That 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 wasn't funny. That wasn't funny, Belize. But see, Belize, you in the corner. You were good. You almost got out of here because I was. I'm just about to shut this thing down. I'm shutting down in seven more minutes. You almost got out of here without getting put in the corner, Belize. But you in the corner, Belize. You in the corner. Feel the burn. Okay, Shauna. So we see, we know who you back in. We know who you back in. But that's why in the beginning when people were like, they didn't like the fact that so many people were running and da da da. And I was like, that's what this is about. This democracy says that anybody who meets the qualifications to run for president can run for president. All of the other factors will they will you will eliminate yourself based on the other factors like can you raise money. Can you sway the people? Can you do the long, can you play the long game? 
So I was never worried. I didn't care about, and people were like, well, all the Democrats are just fighting at each other and they're giving the Republicans a clear set. I was never worried about any of that because I knew that once the primary started, some people didn't even make it to primary season, but I knew once the primary started that they would, they would, um, okay. El Teddy's going live tonight. Uh, but I knew, but I knew that they would, um, I knew they would all sort of start, um, um, thinning themselves out. I knew we were going to end up with these three, three or four people. Like, so I wasn't worried about all of the people jumping. I mean, for I mean, for a little while, a couple of people were looking good. And I was like, oh, okay, they looking good. They looking like they might be able to do something. But again, again, we'll see. Uh-uh, she was okay. So I died laughing. <laughs> I'm not doing this with beliefs. I'm not doing this with Belize. Belize has squatter rights in the corner. I know that's right, El Teddy. El Teddy, what time are you going live? Because I'm getting ready to shut this down in about five minutes so I can go get dressed and get ready to get out of here. What time are you going live, um, sir? So I can let the people know. Yeah. But yeah, so that's why, you know, I'm never, I that, that type of thing never really bothers me. Um, because I like seeing the democratic process at work. I, I I don't have a problem with people saying, look, I think I can do this. I think I can run this country. I think I have the qualifications. Go for it. Go for it. We'll see who's still standing in July at the convention. That's what our democratic process is built on. And so I don't like when people want to eliminate people just because they're not the popular candidate or because no one's heard of them before. Or they like, oh, well, I don't think. Okay, then don't vote for them. If you don't think they can do the job, just don't vote for them. They'll, you know, they'll eliminate themselves, honey. They will eliminate themselves. Not OxyClean. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are in this chat cutting up. See, live from the corner. <laughs> Oh, you had to deal with the kids. Oh, child, handle them kids, honey. Handle them kids. Miss Mars, let me tell you something. I don't deal with people who don't vote. Probably 8 p.m. or around that time, maybe a little earlier. Okay, you on East Coast time right now, right, El Teddy? So it's going to be 8 o'clock East Coast time? Eastern Standard, I should say? You're at Eastern Standard time right now, right? Let me tell you something. You know Stemmin laughs, honey. Stemmin probably got that thing as on a loop. He made a meme. He got a meme playing on his phone. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> That's not nice. Uh uh, believe so I'm gonna bring you a glass of wine so you can drink from the corner. You know what, hey, Miss Hawk? Look, let me tell you something. But yeah, I, I um, I don't deal with people who don't vote. Like if you if you tell me you don't vote. And we pretty much don't have a whole lot more to comp to talk about. Um, because I don't understand that mindset. I don't understand that concept of you're not going to participate in the process, yet you feel like you have a right to complain about the process. You don't. Not to me, you don't. You know what I mean? If you choose not to vote, then to me, you you have eliminated your opportunity to complain to me. Now, you might be able to complain to other people. Other people might want to hear what you have to say and all of that, but I don't. I don't. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. All right. So, El Teddy, you guys are about to shut this down in two minutes. El Teddy is going live um, at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, y'all can go on over there and check, check, check it out. Yeah, I don't... I don't do deal with the non-voters. Anybody, like I said, anybody that's bold enough to tell me that they didn't vote, you should already know that that's pretty much going to be the end of our conversation. So regardless of who you support, you know, I'm again, I may not agree with the people that you support, but, you know, I would talk to someone who voted for Trump before I would talk to somebody who said I just didn't vote. 
I will have a conversation with somebody who voted for somebody I didn't agree with before I will talk to somebody that didn't vote at all. You know what I mean? Like, I can't. I can't. Yeah, exactly, y'all. Exactly. It's so weird being live straight instead of being on stream. Y'all, it's been so long since I've gone live straight. Uh uh, I'm gonna move my drink over to the corner at El Teddy's place. Yeah, go on and get in the corner. You might as well go on and go on and um reserve your spot now. <laughs> go on and reserve your spot in the corner now, please. <laughs> crazy child, you are crazy. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming through. I want to thank you guys for contributing to the makeup uh, ministry over here. I got me a cute little palette, and I had me a little 360 rotating organizer. You're right. El Teddy's room is the corner. So you're right. Yeah. You're among your people, Belize, because El Teddy's room is the corner. You are absolutely correct. Mother just put El Teddy, his room is just permanently the corner. That is where Mother put him. And thanks again for my palette. The next time um, I have an occasion to do my face, you know, you will see some of these new things, my new brushes and all that good stuff. We'll be we'll be playing around with all that good stuff. And once I set this up, I'll let you guys see it. Once I set the um, organizer up, like I said, I have to put it in my um, my spare bedroom because, you know, I have three of those. Right. That's an inside joke. Y'all. I'm not bragging. That's an inside joke. Y'all know. You know, because some people don't don't have the some people got the one. Okay. Anyway, and of course, y'all know I have my mirror. Saturday. Why are you putting Saturday in capital letters? What's going on Saturday? Yeah, Belize is definitely in the front row over to El Teddy's. Yes, yes. You say I'm fancy. What'd you say? You stay fancy. Oh, child. Oh, am I messy? Am I messy, Shada? Am I messy? <laughs> am I being a little messy? <laughs> one bed, one chair. <laughs> I'm not doing this with none of y'all. Put some makeup on my face Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to feel like putting makeup on my face Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to feel like it's Saturday. With that being said, let me go. <laughs> you got some rooms and couches and chairs. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Rooms and couches and chairs. Oh, my. Oh, is Ebby bullying me? Did she say that's not a suggestion? I feel like Ebby is bullying me. Bye, y'all. Let me get off of here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be at my meeting long. My meeting starts at 7 30. I probably usually I usually tip out around 8 30, 9 o'clock. So I'll be in the bushes. I'll be in the bushes because I'll be hitting the church finger by quarter to nine. Y'all can sit here and keep talking if you want to. I gotta get in and get out. I ain't got time for all this. All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, Latifa, thank you so much. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.